good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the ESC Scott YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a little look into the German national final for 2024, which this year they're calling Das Deutsche Final. I'm going to be listening and reacting to eight of the songs competing, and then I'll tell you which ones are my favourites, who do I think has the most potential to represent Germany in Malmö for Eurovision 2024. So without further ado, let's play the intro. I still need to update that intro. I bet you, like, in May, when it comes to your version, I've still not updated it. Like, I bet you any money. Okay, so today, this th this national final is always a mystery to me. It's quite a nerve-wracking one, I think, for the German Eurovision fans, because you just... This could be anything. I thought last year was actually really, really, really quite decent. Like, they had some really good songs, and they chose the right one. Lot of Lost was the perfect song in the national final last year, and they made the right choice. And they'd done everything they possibly could. <laughs> they done everything like to get a good result they had done everything they could i think and they still came last which is heartbreaking for germany i really 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 hope that within these eight songs we have something that's different i think germany needs to send something so out the box even more out the box than lord of the lost that's why when i got excited about the ish the, the song that the, the the hammer lady ich kündige guck ich zerreiße den vertrag schmeiß die fetzen in die luft wünsche einen schönen tag weil ich kündige if that was in this national final not only would it win the national final it would also do well at eurovision it would be the perfect song that was a missed opportunity <laughs> So, so upset when they said, like, it's not happening. But we do have these eight songs here. Let's just hope that one of them stands out and kind of makes us excited at least. So we've got Bodine, Galant, Isaac, Leona, Marie, Max, 99, and Rick. Okay, let's have a little look. Let's just go down the line. We'll start with Bodine. Bodine Monet, Tears Like Rain. She looks really young. Come on. Okay. Okay. Kind of full K. Pop. Ooh. Okay. Her voice is good, looks really good. I, I hope this is live, because it sounds amazing. It's not, but I, I, I wish it was. Okay. This bit ain't bad. The progression's good. It's good. Her range is obviously extremely good because she's got quite a high voice, but then she could go really low. I like the verses more than the choruses, so it's not usually a great thing. I like this bit. Ooh, even though it's so classic and it's been overused, it's still good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Doing an Ollie Alexander. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's have a really big ending. Come on. Yeah. If she can sing live, then it'd be impressive. Ooh. Ooh. Some pipes. It's not bad. For a German national final, this, this is a good start. I'm over you. So the song's obviously about heartache, a breakup. Although she seems extremely young. I'm like, I'm young myself, but like, she seems young. I mean, yeah, it was a great start. Love the guitar in there. Her voice seems amazing. If she can sing live, then oh, great. But as I say, I don't know if it's out of the box enough. I think it is safe. And Germany can't afford 
to be safe right now. That's the one thing they cannot do is take something that's safe. Okay, this next one is called Galant and the song's called Katsy, Katsy. When I hear that, I just think of Katsu Curry and it makes me hungry. Okay, this looks like a really interesting music video. I don't know if it's the duo, if it's just her. Galant, let's go. Come on. I've got some German. Come on. Oh. Oh. This sounds different. Come on. Yes. This looks and sounds different. What we need. We've got like a Monica Lou bowl cut. Oh. 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 This is interesting. It's, 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 it's enticing, it's like I'm I'm wondering what it's about, what is happening. This is weird but it's good. Obviously it's not kind of wowing but it's very interesting, it's weird. It's like giving me German constructor vibes. See if there was like a wee dance to go along with this. It's... I don't know how to explain this. I'm so confuzzled. <laughs> I love that it's in German. And I love that it's a little bit kooky. And as I said, there's nothing vocally challenging in it. It's such that it's very talk. A talking. She's talking a lot. It's like talking, singing, speaking. I'd love to know what the song's about. I'll have to look it up. Katza. What does that mean? Let me just look what that means up. Because I'm actually. It may not even be German. It doesn't sound German to me. Katza. It says here it's an Estonian word. Estonian for experiment. Okay. I don't know why it's an Estonian. Maybe she's part Estonian? That was weird, I don't know if that was right for Eurovision, if you know what I mean. It actually could be that cookie could be so out of the box that it could be right. It could be like very different and exactly what Germany needs. As I say, Germany can't afford to be kind of playing safe. It has to be quite risky this year I would say if they have any risks and this is one. It's looking optimistic. It might not be the best risk but I think it's it's a good start. There was something interesting in that definitely. Okay next up we have Isaac with a K and it's always on the run. Let's have a little look. Come on Isaac. Serve us something amazing. Oh. Oh. Gives him like rag and bone man vibes. And I love him. Oh, whoa, this sounds good, okay. Come on, Germany. Yeah, his voice is like almost identical to rag and bone man. It's like so good. Okay. Okay, it's a little bit catchy as well. Oh, that's it. That's an interesting turn. This isn't. This isn't bad. This is good. Like his image, loving the video as well. I'm going to focus on the lyrics a little bit more now. Okay, is this a bit of relationship? Always on the run. Yeah. I think doing the, the repeating the word three times at the end of the the line in the court and the pre-chorus, it's been overused. Run, 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 but it's fine. Then they, they turn it from doing that three repeated words to this. Na 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 na. It's different. It 
It's clever. It's smart. This works. Okay. Love the video. I love a music video that tells a story. This is promising. For me. It's like, it's weird, it's like a hybrid between a pop, uh, a pop song and a ballad. Like, the choruses are really slow and then they get into this punchy bit. Power ballad. His voice is good. Love his voice. If he can sing well, live, then... God. Gotta say, I thoroughly enjoyed that one. I think this is definitely less safe than the first one. What was the first one called? Tears Like Rain. So far, I think that one was definitely my favourite. It's not safe, really. I think some parts of the song have been overused and it's a bit like, oh, we've all heard this before. But I think for Germany, this is a really, really, really solid, solid song. And it all depends on staging. If they stage it well and his voice is exactly like that live, then... This definitely could go for Germany, and I hope it does, because it's a really good song. But we've still got five more to go. Okay, next up we have Leona with Undream You. Right, let's play. Let's see what it's all about Leona. Okay. She looks young as well. Okay, this is promising as well. I need a really punchy chorus here. This is sweet. It's very Disney. Hmm. Oh, this is really, this is really pretty. Some of these lyrics are good as well. Her voice is really beautiful. Okay, so this is about a relationship as well. It's weird because it is so slow, it's so low tempo that I think a lot of people kind of lose interest but I'm I'm very focused in on it. Mm. This is interesting. This, this is weird for me. I don't know how to feel. Oh yeah. This is really pretty. If the staging is really intimate for this, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, that was a nice one. That was a nice one. I wasn't expecting that from Leona. Well done, Leona. Oh, that was nice. That was really, really lovely. And you know what? That would be different. It would be different. I don't think we've had a song like this from Germany in a while. But I think this all depends and relies on the staging. If the staging is great, if, as I say, if there is that intimacy between her and the camera, I think there's there's no need to overcomplicate the staging for this. Just have her on stage with a spotlight and a mic stand and a mic. That's all. That's it. It could so win this national final and it could potentially be top 10 at Eurovision. Like, it's so, so, so sweet. Yeah, that one, that one was nice. That one was pleasant. I do hope people love that one as well. I hope people are with me. Okay, next up we have Marie Rim. Marie Rim with this song. And I want to say naive, but it's not. It's naive, naive, naive. Here we go. Oh. 
Oh my god, that reminds me of something. Wait a minute, what does that remind me of? Wait a minute. What does that remind me of? What does that remind me of? That's gonna bug me. Let me listen to it one more time. Oh my god. Na 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 dun dun na 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 dun dun na 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 Is this the way to Amarillo? Thank god I remembered that. Okay. This way to Amarillo. Okay, we've lost the umbrella. Okay, we've got some German, some German pop. Great. I'm wondering if we're going to get any rock this year. I really do. I, I know after last year they probably not wanting to do that, but I do. Okay. I don't know how to word that, but I just... No. It's not bad, but it's... If Germany were to choose this, it'd just be going back to old ways, I think. At least it's in German. I like that. It's in German pop. Because I think if this was in English, I would be sitting... Skipping it, to be honest. It's the only thing that's keeping me engaged, really. Okay, we're getting back to Amarillo now. Okay, it's the way to Amarillo Every night I've been hugging my pillow Dreaming dreams of Amarillo I do like it though, I like that. It's okay, but this, when I was talking about the first song being safe, if that first song safe, then this is really, 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 It's not good. I mean, that note was good. I like how about a schlag on there now. It's okay, but it's it's not right for Eurovision. I think the song is actually it's not half bad, but it's just not for Eurovision. Dreaming dreams of Amarillo. Okay, next up we have Max Mutzke Mutzke with the song Forever Strong. Let's have a little look. You know I would always listen. Okay. I'm listening. I know when you are talking in your sleep. And hold you when you're falling. Will I ever find a peace of mind? I need something big in this chorus. I listen to your pounding heart. I don't hmm. know. Yeah, that's not bad. It's clever. It's just a classic male ballad. I'll give, it, I'll give it the rest of the song. His voice has a good rasp in it that I'm loving. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. I don't know where we are going. It feels like it's like an ACL song. It's like he does make it out of the same time. Song that I can love this is so good. I'm loving the hat as well. Yeah, it's 
just a bit classic, it's just a bit like a mix of so His voice is good, I love his singing voice, it's really good. Yet again, it's so safe, it's so incredibly safe. There's nothing risky about that, like, whatsoever. It's a good effort, I think. Some of the lyrics were alright. It's not, we're, if we're looking for a left-hand side of the board at Eurovision, then I don't think that's it. Right, okay, next up we have Love on a Budget 99. Let's press play. This one's quite a short one. Okay, what are we doing, fishing? We're on a boat. Okay. Right. Okay, this seems okay. It's in English. Obviously. <laughs> mm. Yeah, again, it's like a song that I, uh, was in last year's. I can't remember what it was called. I can picture it though. It was the song that won with the Drury's. Yet again, I've said it so much in this video, this is safe. Unless we have some big miraculous ending that's like so wow. Uh, like, I mean this pre-chorus, this build is okay. It feels like this chorus needs to have a lot more punch in it and it has very little. Hmm. There's something missing. There's an instrument missing. There's something not there that's you can blatantly see. It's got a good voice. His falsetto is really good. <laughs> Gotta love on a budget. I mean, eh. that hook's okay. Oh. Mm, I did not like that ending. Very, 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 very abrupt. That was an odd structure of the song as well. You don't see that very much anymore, where you don't have a bridge. Most songs will definitely have a bridge now. Oh, it's interesting. Not interesting enough, I don't think. Right, okay, we've got the last song competing, and it is Reek. I, I keep saying Reek, but I don't think it is. I think it's something that maybe Reek, Reek, Reek. Reek is like, means smelly in Scottish, like that reeks. So I want to stop saying reek, but it's RYK with the song Oh Boy. Coincidentally, this 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 boy that's on the cover is covering his nose, so maybe it's coincidental. Okay, so Oh Boy, let's do it. This is the last song in the selection. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's promising. Okay, beautiful voice. Obviously, I don't see him. I don't know if this was him as a child, but I don't see him now. I don't have a visual. Oh, oh, we're getting like a siren. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This song has so many layers. Okay. That vocal range, okay. If he can sing live. Oh wow. This is another song where it, feel, it would have to feel quite intimate and maybe explode at the choruses. Okay. This, this is good. Yeah. Have like a choir behind him on stage. Loads of lights. Well, not loads of lights, but like, you know what I mean. Make all, like, get all the focus on him. Obviously, I don't have any visual of him. I'll need to look him up. Reek, Reek, Reek. Okay, we're hearing that siren again. I love this. There's so many sounds in the song. Oh. It's like, it's very, very beautiful. 
And then it gets like these bits and it's like pure intense. Mm, this would be different for Germany. Okay. This, that bit, oh, that's good, it's good. Okay, it was classic, but it was good. Oh, oh. that might be, might be my favourite of the bunch. I tell you what, when I, before I started the reaction, I fully expected to not like most of these sauces. I mean, I didn't like a few of them. But I definitely did not expect to like a good few of them. Like, I loved a few of them. Okay, so let's go through them. I'll give you my thoughts on each. So the first one, Tears Like Rain, It's it, she has a really good voice. The song was just a little bit lacklustre. It feels like if Germany was to pick this, they're still stuck in their, like, really, really bad way. But it's a good song. It was okay. And the next one, Katze, Katze, was very, very different. Very unique. It definitely would stand out. Is it the right choice? Not sure, but it stands out. So if Germany was to choose this, if this was a contender, then I'm excited for the next year and the next year and the next year because it's, it means that they're choosing something different and they're having a variety. I can say that I can safely say that these eight songs, there's quite a wide variety in all of them. That's a really, really good thing. The next one, Always on the Run, his voice was amazing. Sounded so much like Rag and Bone Man. Definitely my top two or top three. Very, very good song, that one. And then the next one, Undream You, Leona. I don't think it'd be everyone's cup of tea, but her voice is so good. Very beautiful. Really, like, angelic. Quite... It seems quite fragile. Yeah, there's something quite innocent about this song where there's nothing kind of big... There's no big spectacular moment, but that might be good. That might be a good thing. Let's just hope the performance, the live performance, is so good and it wows, because I genuinely think this would be a good choice for Germany. Sending a really, really, really slow, quiet ballad might be the right choice and I don't think it's not safe I think it's kind of a little bit risky for Germany so I think they should consider Leona the next one Marie didn't really enjoy that one I think I'm just not the biggest fan of these type of songs Schlager is just not for me really it was just a bit me and I think if, yeah again if Germany was to choose this they'd be still stuck in their own ways and then the next two were very similar it's like both of them were quite similar to me it's like it's also the, these two songs Max and 99 Two really safe songs. Just, no. Max had a really good voice, just the wrong song. Then 99, the song was okay, it just, it didn't go anywhere for me. And then the last one, oh boy, what a song. Oh my god. So there is like three songs in here that I think, oh my god, like genuinely, like if they pick one of these songs, Germany, you're, you're in the right direction. You're in the right direction. So I think Isaac, Leona, and Rick, Reich, they three are the, the contenders for me for Germany. I think these three have the most potential without a doubt. Even if you don't like the songs, I think you can agree with me. All of the rest of them, like most of the rest of them, I think are a little bit just too generic, a bit too safe. Well, other countries, if they had these songs in the selection, go ahead, choose them. You can afford to be safe, but Germany, you need to stand out this year. You need to do something that's going to make you stand out from the rest of the 25 songs in that final. And the three, Isaac, Leona, and Drake, 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 I think they're your best options. And normally, you wouldn't really have three. So you have three to choose from, personally, I think. But do you agree? Do you disagree? Why do you agree? Why do you disagree? Tell me down in the comments. We'll have a little conversation about it. And remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Eurovision content just like this one. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.